Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I want to talk about being a working mom versus a stay-at-home mom and my experience doing both. All right, let's go. So I want to start with being a stay-at-home mom. As you guys know, I have one son. He's two years old, Mark Anthony Powell III, but we call him King. I stayed home with King until he was 15 months. That was one of the best times of my life, especially being a first time mom. I loved having that experience and watching him grow each day from moment to moment. As a stay at home mom, I guess I can start with the pros first. One of the pros is seeing every moment with your child, first step, first word, just everything and being able just to nurture and just cuddle and wake up and nap with your baby every day and every moment. I loved it. I held King every day, every hour. I held him all the time and he didn't even become spoiled and I held him all the time, which is so crazy. And he was the perfect baby. I didn't have to worry about him crying or being fussy or anything. But as a stay-at-home mom, that was one of the pros. Another pro is I didn't have to worry about pumping. I did breastfeed King, so as a stay-at-home mom, I was able to feed him on demand anytime he wanted. He loved to eat and he loved to snack. So I was breastfeeding King like every two to three hours and also like every hour just whenever he wanted to feed. I couldn't imagine keeping up if I had to pump at work. So that was one pro as being a stay-at-home mom. Also, with being a stay-at-home mom, let's see. I did save money with being a stay-at-home mom. I saved money because I didn't have to pay for child care. As you guys know, child care is really expensive. I'm going to detail exactly how much it is when I talk about being a working mom. So some of the cons of being a stay-at-home mom is you have to stay really creative in doing activities because it's really easy to slip into depression or to become really sad as a stay-at-home mom only because you're just in the house all the time and you're just staring at the four walls and you'd have no adult interaction. It's just you and your baby 24-7 all day. So for me, I loved taking pictures and just having fun like blogging and on my social media so if you do follow me on instagram or if you're my friend you can see that i did follow month to month king's milestones along with my pregnancy journey so that was something that was fun for me of blogging so that helped me i also did take king to the library every week and he did love to read. He still loves to read now. And that's something that we both did. And at the library, they always had a section for children. So it wasn't just the books. They also had toys there, little kitchen set. So it was always really, really fun. Also, I did stay active on my praise dance team. So I had practice every Tuesday and Thursday. So I was able to get out during that time, during the week. Also, as a family, my husband and I, we went to church every Sunday, so we did go to church every Sunday. And then after church service, we did go to friends and family's house and sometimes out to eat. So that was things that I did to stay active. Just so I wasn't in the house all the time. So that's what worked for me. So as a stay-at-home mom, you have to be creative and find things that will work for you. One of the cons of being a stay-at-home mom, mm, I think that's about it. Those are the main things for me. So now as a working mom, um, the benefits as a working mom, you get to have that time away from the child and you get to have adult interaction. And then also it depends on your job. For me, I love my job. My job is really fun for me. So being at work helped me. If you're not doing a job that you love, I don't really think that would be a con because Sometimes it's really dreading going to work. You would rather be at home. But for me, it was beneficial because I love my job. Another pro for working is your child gets to go to daycare. And at daycare, your child gets that child interaction with other kids. My son, once he was 15 months, 
that's what he needed. He no longer wanted to cuddle. I would try to hold him. He didn't want to be held. He wanted to play all the time. He didn't just want to just play with baby toys. He wanted to run. He was crawling, walking. He was really, really active. So at that point, he wanted to play with other kids. So it was really beneficial for him to go to child care and have that interaction with other kids as long as play outside and play with new toys each day. Bonds for working mom, you do have to pay for child care. I was paying about three, well not about, I was paying $300 a week. At this time, King was only 15 months and he was in a toddler classroom. So I was spending $1,200 a month. It's a lot of money out of our pockets where I would where when I was staying at home I was saving that money along with saving money from breastfeeding I wasn't buying formula so as a working mom that is a con however I loved working at my job and then I was still bringing maybe like 200 or 300 dollars from my check after I paid child care so just having that little bit of money along with having fun at work building my work experience and my child having that child interaction was beneficial for our family as a whole which is why we decided to move forward with me going to work i also didn't want to stay out of work too long because i didn't want to have a hard time finding a job so after a year passed i realized it was time for me to go to work and then it was also time for my baby to go to daycare one of the cons to being a work at mom is if you are still breastfeeding you are going to have to find times to pump um, however, when I went back to work, I was no longer a breastfeeding king. I did stop breastfeeding him at 12 months, so I did not have to worry about that. So that kind of worked out. For the future, if I have my second baby, I would like to stay home with my baby for 15 months again, like I did with King. However, in reality, I love the job I'm at now. I want to keep my job, and I know my job is not going to let me stay out of work for 15 months and have a spot still open for me. So I'm going to stay at home for as long as my job will let me. Hopefully that's about three to six months, um, whichever they decide. And I will still be breastfeeding. I want to breastfeed my second child for a year like I did with King. So I will have to find time to pump and feed. With my job I have now, they did have in the handbook when I first got hired a section about breastfeeding and having a room and time away from work to pump. So hopefully they honor that and I can still have that time available to do so when I have my second child. So yes, being a staying at home mom and a working mom, having both experiences really is an eye opener for me. I loved both. I think it just depends on the child and when they're ready to go to school. And for me, at 12 to 15 months, King was ready. And it may be different for my second child, but that's basically my experience. Go ahead and comment any questions you may have, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and see you next time.